Information collected in the U.S. Census helps officials decide how to prepare for an emergency like a pandemic. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno goes county by county to see how many people still need to fill it out. By now, you should have received an invitation to fill out the 2020 census. Now, you can either do it online or by phone, but if you don't do it, that's millions of dollars lost right here in our community. While you're at home practicing social distancing, I want to remind you to fill out the U.S. Census. It's 10 questions and takes less than 10 minutes. Among the coronavirus pandemic, Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry took the time to remind everyone to fill out their household census during his daily news conference. Why? Because the U.S. Census actually has a direct correlation to COVID-19. What we're experiencing right now with this pandemic is an example of why federal funding is crucial. Federal funds make a huge difference in the support and future of our community. And by the way, they're your tax dollars that go to Washington. We want to bring them back home. For each person not counted, Jacksonville loses approximately $1,500 in federal funding per year. The census not only helps with funding for a pandemic, but the money builds the roads and infrastructures we drive every day. To date, only half of Floridians have filled out their census. Let's see where Northeast Florida lies. Flagler and St. Johns County are ahead in the state with over 50% reported. Duval, Clay, Nassau, and Alachua are all above the state's average of 44.6%. Union and Putnam are both under 40%. While some would say the battle between Florida and Georgia is usually in the fall, Florida is beating Georgia's overall response rate. Camden, Ware, and Glynn counties are all reporting more than 40%. The common theme between each of those counties, none of them are at 100%. Now, don't forget, the census is free, and they do not share your information with anyone, but it does affect every single person. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, the local station.